Hi everyone. So today I'm going to try out some makeup samples that I got. So I'm first going to start with Becca Skin Love. So this is their Brightening Blur Primer. So it's supposed to hydrate, nourish, give you that glow. So for blur, I feel like you should be filling in my pores. I hate these little metal things on there. I hate these metal things so much it would deter me from getting this product because like it's so annoying how it doesn't come off. It annoys me. The product makes me feel dumb and annoyed. <laughs> There's other options out there like oh. And I think it's someone's like passive aggressive way of getting back at people. And I'm just like, oh, so just kind of putting like a pea size amount. I'm just gonna rub across my hands and pat in. It does smell kind of like that, like cherry lip balm. I do think it feels nice. So I do have like skin where for me going like that my skin will go red um, but it will dissipate as I go. So I think it has like a nice smell and I do like um, kind of those pore filling primers so not bad in my mind. Um, from Medicar. I have their shimmer lotion. So this you can kind of ooh, put like mix with your foundation to kind of give you that glow. I'm going to use it more as a highlight. So I'm just kind of kind of kind of go. Ooh, I'm just kind of going to go in with my brush, dip it in and then put it over because I wouldn't want my face all that shiny. For my nice like highlighted areas, I'm okay with. Right, it blends nicely. I think this product, I would probably use it more like on my shoulders, on my body for those little things. Because I do think it just gives a nice kind of sheen from Floss, Floss, my everyday eyeshadow. So this is in Gino, Gina, Ginona. What is this pinky color? I'm just going to go in with an eyeshadow brush, kind of have it intense on my eye, and then just kind of sheer it out. So I just kind of dab it and then go across. So I know for myself, like, I don't really like the single pots. I'd rather it be a palette. Just because I like to use multiple colors. I'm always going to kind of reach more for a palette than a single pod. So having the color to where I like it, I'm just going to slowly start to blend it what's ever left kind of on my brush up. Towards my crease. 
I'm just going to kind of go back in. I'm trying to put that color a little bit more intensely on my outer corner. This is putting it in one location. So it's going to do like the slightest little difference, but that is okay. So don't mind it. Like it went on pretty nice. I'm just going to take it a little bit under. Because I do think kind of wearing um, eyeshadow on your lower lash line just really pops your eye a little bit more. From Urban Decay, I do have their 24-7 Glide on eye pencil in zero. So I do have a whole bunch of colors. So I just want to kind of put this along my eye, like lash line. So like not bad now it's always the tricky part of like getting your uh liner even oh. So I just found like my edge kind of dissipates a little. So you can kind of just like, you're then wipe, uh, wasting some product, but just kind of wiping. You can also just go in with a brush that way you're always kind of maintaining your nice edge to kind of wing it out. So I think if you're going just along your lash line, then it's okay.
And then you can always kind of clean it up with another brush and just kind of even it out versus starting to make it bigger and bigger. But not bad. So I think I do prefer just my liquid liner because I'm not that great at my eyeliner. Um, I feel like liquid's just kind of like you're easier once you get better than to kind of have that gel liner. It does become a little bit easier. But I think it's nice. It went on smoothly. I didn't find it really tugged. So it did what it said. Then I'm going to try mil uh, Milk milk Makeup. Their Kush Mascara. I do call things like different names. Like I call it Milk instead of milk just naturally like a glass of milk I know there's no A in it do any of you guys say any like words differently it's just like mauve and mauve I do like this because I can kind of get really in close to my lash line and I don't find it's leaving marks on my skin. I don't like this. And then last from Floss. Floss. I have their um lip gloss and i really like their lip gloss so i did get another shade this is lex lex i just find it's like nice and pigmented but it's a thick enough formula that it stays put where it should um with their eyeshadows I'm just going to kind of go back over to kind of sheer it out I do feel like I have little lashes so I tend not to do eyeliner because then I feel like you can't see my eyelashes at all um and that they kind of disappear so i think this was all like nice i liked it all <laughs> um definitely like the lip gloss i think is the greatest where i would definitely pick up some more of their colors just because i do find it just like feels nice on the lips it kind of has like a cocoa nutness as like that flavor um the mascara I was pleasantly surprised with because I was like, nah, I don't think this is really going to do anything. But it is nice. I think the eyeliner, like I'm not too big in using eyeliner anymore and my single shadows. I feel like I probably won't get that much use out of those. Um, and then the other two, like not bad for my highlight. But it's nice to kind of get those samples, try out things without having to spend a fortune. That's what's kind of nice about some of those like higher end stores um, when they do have those samples versus like your drugstore, you're getting a little bit better value and then you can try things out. And if you don't like things, you can return them. Whereas the drugstore, you can't always. So I definitely 
like not for things. Um, and I think it's always nice to like try something new, do something different than just kind of doing like your same old to see what's out there and all that. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you have a great day. Bye.